maybe this is the best lighting for my apartment but anyways it's been a long time since i vlogged i knew this was gonna happen and probably will happen again but sometimes i just need some encouragement to get back into it because it's a lot of work because i'm still in school and i got a new job and i just have so much to tell everyone <laughs> about my life so um as you can see if you've been updated with like my instagram and facebook i moved out of lubbock texas and i did vlog almost like it's when i started youtube so i did vlog a while while i was it over there um i did have a good time but um there were so many things that were happening that was just deeper and i do want to share with you guys because it's a blessing where I am now um, it was a blessing what I went through and um, it's a testimony of how God is so good to me and everything that's have happened there's my crusty dog I'm gonna get him groomed Tuesday I promise I just thought I wasn't up to date with his vaccinations but he is he stays still he doesn't even look real okay <laughs> but yeah he's he just wants to be beside me anyways this is great lighting and my skin looks really good I'm so happy like honestly I went to the beach um last week and my skin I, I have a skin allergy uh, a sun allergy because this is the second time i didn't think it was but my face was just getting like a lot of like cyst stuff on it and it was really bad but i've been trying to take care of it like nonstop, and then it's getting right there anyways but so um after the wedding my brother's wedding which was last year in october <laughs> um that week after i went to dallas um since i was living in lubbock i had some friends who we decided to just have a dallas trip together and i did vlog that i do want to post that vlog because i still have videos um it's just gonna be late i don't know if i should but i think i probably will anyways um and then after that i went to nebraska for a church thing i didn't vlog that but that was all in october um, why i left uh, let's start off why I left Lubbock. Um, so uh, my whole time in Lubbock, uh, really social media portrays not exactly everything that's happening. Um, but my whole time in Lubbock, I was there for about seven months. Um, I'm grateful for the people I've met. Um, I really only literally had two friends and they were like older ladies and they were the sweetest, like the sweetest things ever. Um, but uh, one of the main reasons why I left Dallas was because I couldn't find a church community um where i where i like was similar to my roots like in arkansas um i did visit churches but i just it didn't feel like home um and that was the main thing i i love my church uh, that's that's what keeps me going um is a church community youth groups i love youth and I just didn't have that over there. Um, it was so hard um, being by myself, being really far from my family, about 11 hour drive from my family, um, really impacted my mental health, um, my spiritual life. There were moments where I I remember clearly every almost every night I would cry. And um, because I was just so alone and, and I wanted a place to worship God. I wanted to meet other brothers and sisters in Christ. And, and I didn't have that. And so that really affected me because especially as a youth, it's so hard when mom and dad is it's not watching you. No one's watching you. No one can say anything because they can't see you. You're just by yourself. And most youth would go that way and, and be like, take it, take like, oh, I'm alone. I can do whatever I want, but that's not me. I, I grew up the way I am. God has been in my life since I was like 13. He's always been in my life, but I had a personal experience with him since I was 13. And um, for me, I just, I can't live a life without him and do things that I don't normally do and just disobey him in any way. So that's just me. And I, and I didn't have, I didn't want to do that. And so there were times where I would have my own church service at home, um, prayer every night. I would just like, God help me. Um, I was living in a bad situation with my apartment. I had no idea it was a, it was a community, uh, or not a community, it was a, government housing before the new people new management so i had really neighbors that weren't living real good um the neighbor on the right always had people over they never worked so i had an idea what was going on uh police came a couple times uh the one time they the other neighbor vandalized his place his cars popped his tires praise god and thank god that they didn't even touch my place or my car 
Um, and so that was just so much going on. And then the lady upstairs, oh gosh, I had a battle with her. Like, especially I had videos, recordings, everything of what was going on because I had a lease and I know you can't break out of your lease. Um, and so with the lady upstairs, she, um, I think she was schizophrenic because she lived alone and she would be yelling, banging on the walls with a bat on the floor. She'd be yelling, saying, get out of my head, all of you, shut the, you know, up and cursing. She would open the door and yell. Sometimes I would see her just sitting outside and mumbling to herself, um, but she lived with no one. And uh, that was constant torture for me. I, 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 first time living, like, I was scared, but not all the time. It's just like, I have those battles, um, but um, I had recordings of everything, everything. And that helped me get out of my lease. Like the people had no idea what was I go I was going through. And I've been a good tenant, right? Um, but that was happening, which added to my misery. <laughs> um, my job environment was really toxic, and I know that's everywhere, but it was just four girls and two out of the four, two out of the three actually plus me four, four. So two out of the three talked bad about me in front of my face. Like I could hear them. And then they moved me to another place, which I'm grateful that they moved me to another place because with the new girl, like the new area that I was, it was just me and this other um, woman. And we were, she was my other friend and I loved it. And honestly, I believe God takes you where you are needed because in this environment, in my first work environment, you know, I wasn't needed there. Moved me to this other new clinic and uh, I was needed there. Oh my gosh, that lady, she needed to hear God. She needed comfort. She needed prayer. And I was able, thank God for all that, to do that for her life. And hearing her situation and all that, it was needed. And like I said, with the church that I did visit, um, at first it was good. It was They were going through it really hard. This church did not have a pastor. Their pastor abandoned them. And I'm like, wow, there's like 11 of them and they're all older. I was like, wow, I really admire these people because I know a lot of people who would leave the church if their pastor left because their spiritual life depended on their pastor. But I admire them because they did not leave. They were still there having their cultos or their services. And I was just like, wow. And, um, and I know um, like first day, they gave me a part to to speak and every Sunday they asked if I wanted to sing or something and thank God for that too which you know gl glory to God like minister to them because they needed that and uh God called me for a job there but you know God can call you for certain situations but it's really the person who can stop God's uh calling and so this church uh sadly there was a, a person there that was uh you really got to be careful with who you place as a leader or as a potential pastor. So that that happened. Um, I left because um, they were leaning towards that false teaching. And I was just like, no, I can't do this anymore. But out of that, I met a wonderful sister in Christ where uh, I she was my other friend and she was a widow twice. And so uh, being there for her, encouraging her. So, you know, God places you in situations to meet certain people that need you know, that need to hear what God has placed in you. And so I know all those things were all part of the plan. God sent me over here. I had no idea why God sent me here, but I know because those seven months has molded me to fully, fully depend on God. Uh, because, you know, I had my mom, I had my church back home and they were encouraging me to keep going. But here where I had no one and nothing, um, yeah, no one and nothing, no one and nothing. Um, I had to really learn to depend on God and I did. And so I thank God that everything I went through was needed for me to mature and to grow in him. And nothing moved me, nothing shaked me. It was hard, but it was all worth it in the end. So um, prior to that leaving, uh, me and my mom prayed about finding a new place, a new job in a different area. And so I told my mom, like, I need to get out of here. I can't stay here anymore, especially for my spiritual life. Um, and so I applied for the same position in my in my job to many places. I applied to Houston, Austin, uh, San Marcos, Kyle. Like, I had interviews. And I remember I got a call from Austin. Um, and they were going to pay me a lot more. 
um and so i did the interview for them i was so ready to go but then i also had an interview with dallas and so um i was just like okay well dallas got back to me sooner than austin even though i had an interview with austin first but they got back with me sooner because i had to answer the cup like the offer letter within three days and i didn't hear anything back from austin so i accepted the, the dallas one but this time I was like, I need to go check it out, the area, find an apartment before I move because I'm not doing the same thing I did when I moved to Lubbock. And so I went to uh, Dallas one, one weekend um, just to check out the place, the area where I'm going to work and look for apartments. And in my head, I'm like, I need to find an apartment that's like less than a thousand dollars because like I paid in Lubbock was like 700 for one bedroom. Oh gosh, that was impossible to find. Um, I tried to do apartment tours. I was really frustrated because I went that weekend. I did Saturday. I I was gonna vlog that. I did vlog it. I gotta put that video together too. I don't think I finished it. Yeah, so I probably won't. Anyways, but um, I went Friday, uh, Saturday, apartment tours. I signed up. I didn't go to any. I only won actually. But I was so sad and frustrated because I was like, I am not gonna find a place. Um, and so. I remember that Saturday, my mom was like, Carla, pray about it, find a church tomorrow and pray about it. And I was like, yeah, okay. And so that Saturday I prayed, I was like, and that Sunday I woke up early, got dressed, I had faith. I didn't know, know what church I was gonna go to because I looked on Facebook, I was like, okay, I wanna go to this one. And I went to it on Saturday, on Friday that I saw and they were closed. They had their service earlier that day. So I was just like, so sad because I wanted to go to that church, but they were closed and so um, that's, added to my frustration too and then on sunday I, I woke up early i was looking on facebook i look at the youtube videos i was like i want something like back home that's where i want to go that's 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 what i grew up those are my roots and so um i remember i clicked that sunday morning got dressed i prayed i was like god guide me to the church you want me to go to and um i remember i clicked the facebook and the first church popped up and i was just like I didn't see this church before clicked on it looked at the videos called the number they didn't pick up but then i left a message and then they answered me back and it was the pastor telling me uh, that he heard my message and that he welcomes me to the church when the services start he asked me questions about like, your nationality and stuff and um that he was welcome and that they were gonna wait for me and i was just like oh my gosh that's crazy because he called me like right after i left the message um so uh that happened and i went to church that that sunday um oh my gosh and god confirmed to me that was the place that he wanted me to be there um prior to that i was actually prior to moving to dallas like i kind of skipped this part but austin called me back after i accepted the the cover letter the cover offer letter from dallas they called me back and i was so like oh my gosh oh wait, wait. no that was after sorry after um, finding the church in Dallas I didn't find my apartment so I was really stuck I came back to Lubbock I was like I found a church and God really talked to me in that church let me let me start there and um, I felt God's presence the pastor presented me and something that I really like knew it was God because what I was missing in Lubbock was presented to me here um, my first thing for foremost was the church and the welcoming uh, the brothers and sisters welcoming me um, and I went to the front and the woman who sang the song really ministered to my life like what I was going through and then one thing that really just like stuck out to me was at the end of the service a bunch of the youth girls came up to me and presented themselves to me and introduced themselves and it was a bunch of them and I was like this is what I wanted. This is what I needed. This is the community I want to be part of. And to have it come up to me like that, it's like, wow, I'm not going to be alone anymore. And so, man, I cried that day. Even after the service, I cried. I was like, God, thank you. Thank you. I didn't find an apartment, but I know you will provide for an apartment for me. My first thing was a church. But you see the enemy is always um, astuto on top of things right so i went back home that day um that night i was like man i found a church i'm so happy austin job calls me saying um yeah this job is for you if you want it 
like we decided to go on with you it's like why didn't you call me before like and they were gonna pay me about fifteen thousand more yeah and i was just like ooh, that is tempting and i was in a bind i was like but i went to dallas and i found this but this place is gonna pay me a lot more i was like so confused i was like uh where do you want me to go <laughs> and she the devil will, will present things to you that looks really nice first thing my mom said call your pastor call your pastor for advice my pastor from arkansas spiritual father and i love my pastor and i called him i was like pastor this is happening what do you want me to do and he doesn't know my situation uh well he did because i told him he, he helped me too through it um anyways he told me well think about it like this you want to be in a place where you're less stressed the job is less stressful and that job here is less stressful than the one that was going to be in austin but think about it you are single it's okay you are single but you will be paying if you're making more you're going to be paying more and that that sold it for me i was like yeah i should be making less to pay less <laughs> anyways that was still pay more than what i was making in lubbock but honestly that really like what's the point you know if they're gonna take out more but again i was going for the church not money and i believe it when you go for the things of lord god blesses you tenfold and so um yeah so i came here um moving to dallas my church which was a blessing friends i met amazing uh, girls from my church that we've gone out a couple times i got to know them like it's crazy um job wise it's great it's the same thing um i have meaningful experiences with a lot of moms about what they're going through and just being there to talk to them it's like god presents them in front of me to to hear them out to be that word of encouragement that he's placed in me the words of wisdom and then uh apartment oh yeah my apartment i was like my mom was like that apartment's gonna look for you you don't have to look for it so it's crazy because i did the apartment i did look for an apartment i looked into it but they were on top of it they were calling me they were like you're missing this we need this um they sent me pictures they called me i called them they answered right away oh, the only apartment that was so nice to me and on top of it with me and i'm here so hopefully i can do an apartment tour right now not right now but like soon because it's a it's a prettier place and i am happy it's quiet oh my gosh so quiet i love it. it feels like a mini home and there's a dog park literally that i walk to every day it's like three minutes and then uh i don't hear any noises it's really safe like it's just amazing everything that has been happening and I, I don't think i missed anymore i have my notes right here um yeah but anyways i live in dallas now dallas county i've gone a lot of places and i need to start vlogging again because i live in a more interesting area now so yeah thank you jesus for everything I hope this is encouragement to you if you're in a certain situation where you seem like um, stuck, um, that you're wavering in your faith, uh, just to wait. Wait, because one day you're going to say, it's it wasn't in vain everything I went through. And I can now say that everything I went through was necessary. God took me to a place where I needed to be molded, to be dependent on him, to be there for the people that needed, you know, his love and his words. And then he takes me to somewhere else and blesses me tenfold. Um, my job, a, a higher paying job, um, a great apartment, a church, a community, um, friends, things that I didn't have over there, God gave me and abundantly. And so, um, now I'm here and exciting news too. I do have two job interviews uh, that <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing. I don't want to look like I'm job hopping, job hopping. You got to go where opportunities arise, right? You got to go where up, right? So I think this is where God's going to bless me. Um, just waiting on it, praying about it. But this place is still in the area that I live in, but they pay more. So... <sighs> God, please anyways but yeah that is my update and i hope to vlog more often um i'm still in school working full time so it's kind of hard um but we'll try we'll try i think these help me a lot
and I hope it helps you too. So thanks for watching.